good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is Saturday, January 11th, 2014, and this is the evening daily light on the daily path. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Psalms 103, verse 4. Who redeemeth thy life, life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with loving, loving kindness and tender mercies? The Redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. I will ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. O death, I will be thy plagues. O grave, I will be thy destruction. As the children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil, the, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abideth on him. Ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. When he shall, when he shall come to be glorified in his saints, and to be admired in all them that believe. Jeremiah Chapter 50, verse 34. The Redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause, that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. Hosea, chapter 13, verse 14. I will ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. O death, I will be thy plagues. O grave, I will be thy destruction. Re Repentance shall be hid from mine eyes. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 and 15 For as much then as the children are partakers of the flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, death, that is, the devil, and deliver them who wrought fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. John chapter 3 verse 36 He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Colossians chapter 3 verse 3 For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Chap Chap Colossians chapter 3 verse 4 When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 10 When he shall come to be glorified in his saints, and to be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among you has, was believed in that day. <coughs> Again, it's being pointed out that the only way to heaven is through the Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Not believing in God, believing in the Son, and only in the Son will get you there. You can believe in God our Father all you want, that's what you're supposed to. But the only way to get to heaven is through the Son. It's through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I hope you believe. I hope you have faith. Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. And may God have mercy on you all. I love you guys. God bless.